My name is Beth, and I have sickle cell. You have the sickle cell trait. That's what I meant. I have the sickle cell trait. I'm her mom, Diane McClopsky, and I have the sickle cell trait. Right after Beth was born, um, September 24th, 1993, I brought this wonderful child into the world. And um, it must have been a couple weeks later, and I got a piece of paper in the mail, and I opened it up, and then it, you know, it said, informed me that, you know, the blood test had come back, that my daughter, you know, tested positive for the sickle cell trait. And my first reaction was like, this can't be right, because I'm Caucasian, you know. And so I called the number and I, you know, explained to the, the person on the other line, I said, you know, um, this, this can't be right. I said, you know, I am Caucasian. And she said, this is her exact word, oh honey, it must be a mistake. You know, just bring her back in and we'll retest her. And so we went back in, we retested, it was positive again. And she's like, you need to go to your pediatrician. So I took her to the pediatrician, and um, he's like, this can't be right, you know. So he tested her again, third time, and um, positive. And he's like, that's it. I'm testing you. I'm testing your son, Brian. And so they came back positive. And he's like, this is the first time in 35 years of practice that I have had a Caucasian family with sickle cell trait. Daughter. Yes. When did you find out that you had the sickle cell trait? Was this story told to you? Basically, that's kind of how it was told. Um, it was probably for my brother. He's always been very adventurous, wanting to skydive, scuba dive, whatever. Um, and I showed the same interest, and that's kind of how I found out, was by saying, you know, I want to swim with the dolphins, and I want to swim with the fish, and hey, you can't, because you have sickle cell trait. <laughs> so that was kind of, I didn't really know what it was, but I kind of found out from her through that, that there was limitations because I did have the trait. At first he didn't. Um, I actually started doing a lot of my research on my own and um, you know I found my, my mom is Italian and um, her family comes from Sicily and so I had read someplace that it was you know it was rooted in, in Sicily that it could be rooted in Sicily so um, and then I guess he did a little bit of research and confirmed that the, you know my findings also. It's almost like a background check. You have to figure out, you know, whether or not they have it because it can be passed on. So there's extra worry. I know, obviously, she passed it on. So now it's me next. <laughs> so now I have to make sure that I'm more careful with finding, you know, in a significant other whether or not they have it or whether or not because it can be passed on the children with the trait. I mean, it's always just kind of like a joke, and they're really, they kind of laugh it off, like, oh, okay, and then I have to explain that I actually do have it, and that it's kind of an actual, you know, worry for me. Um, most of them don't really know what it is when I ask about it, um, so I kind of have to explain background, and most of them don't know. I mean, at first, when I found out, um, I, I actually cried. I thought I had given my daughter this terrible, you know, disease, my son this terrible disease. Absolutely. And, and uh, you know, <laughs> near to find out it was just the trait, which, you know, but still, it was, it was devastating when you find, when, you, when I found out. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Did you know? No, I did not. Okay. Know that. Mm -hmm. Now I know.